Fit and Healthy with Lydia Di Francesco. Bentardani cari radio ascoltatori, benvenuti a Fit and Healthy con Lydia Di Francesco su Chen Radio Ottawa 97.9 FM. Non dimenticate anche di seguirci sul nostro sito web chenradioottawa.com attraverso lo streaming. You can also listen live from our free app. If you're looking to improve your health and want the straight truth and easy to follow action steps you can implement right away, keep listening. Tomorrow is World Mental Health Day, so I thought it was fitting to invite a special guest to the show, Natasha Chini, a social worker who sees individuals and couples, and she's the founder of Family Therapy, a private practice located in Canada. Welcome, Natasha. Well, thank you very much for having me on the show, Lydia. So glad to have you here. I wanted to talk to you today about loneliness. This is a topic that's come up more often in the past 18 months because of the COVID restrictions and people feeling more isolated. And I know loneliness isn't just about isolation. Uh, I know for me personally, I've had situations where I felt alone or lonely despite being surrounded by a group of people. So can you describe what loneliness is, when it may occur, and just a little bit more about how we might identify loneliness? Certainly. You're absolutely right. You can be lonely when you're surrounded by people, whether it is at the office or at school or, and even at family events. Loneliness really is about being connected or disconnected. And when people realize their level of satisfaction, they have a decreased level of satisfaction with their connectedness with other people, then they really perceive that they're, they're lonely and socially isolated. Mm-hmm. And I know there's like often depression that is related to that comes related to being uh, when you're lonely. And obviously there's other, you know, mental health issues uh, related to loneliness. But does are there other health impacts? There are actually quite a few health impacts and, and people don't realize this. Loneliness is as detrimental as smoking cigarettes. It's one of the comparisons the scientists have made. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And loneliness can, can, can create so many health problems that we don't even realize. So for example, like diabetes, who would think diabetes was related to loneliness? Mm-hmm. High blood pressure, it raises your stress level, of course, and it can cause sleep problems and even overall body inflammation, which then just makes your immune system weaker. Wow. I had no idea there were so many other health risks. That's uh, Thank you so much for sharing that those points. That's um, good to know for people, right? So what would you yeah. recommend uh, to someone if they started to notice feelings of loneliness in themselves? Or maybe uh, you could also comment on how to notice uh, whether a loved one or a friend is maybe perhaps feeling loneliness and what can we do about it? There's a lot you can do about being lonely. And, and if you're an adult, one of the things I say, if you're really feeling socially isolated, go start volunteering. Mm. You cannot be lonely when you're helping other people. Um, if you have a child who you find has difficulty making friends or keeping friends, have a conversation with your child and help your child, teach your child how to make friends and how to keep friends. That's really important. If you are a newcomer to Canada or you have poor poor English skills, there are many community resources that are available to help you get connected, such as you know uh, immigration services for women. Get out of your house, smile at your neighbor, and for especially for our seniors who become more and more reclusive inside of their house, it's really important if they can join a seniors group and family members check in on them. You know, as we get older, loneliness will show up as early signs of dementia, and that can be reversible. And so, you know, we shouldn't allow ourselves to become so socially isolated that we just are staring at our four walls all the time. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to come back to that point you made earlier about, you know, even if you're surrounded by people, but you're feeling disconnected. Do you have any advice on how to maybe build a stronger connection with people? Is it a matter of maybe finding more like-minded people or, or, you know, if it's not your family members, like what would, how would we sort of address that aspect? That's a good point. So if you find that you are not well connected with your family and not everybody has their family as their best friends or even close to them, start looking for people, groups, activities that are people are similar to you. Mm. You have to realize it takes time to build a relationship and you have to be persistent. So one, not everybody's going to be your friend, and that's okay to realize that. And two, 
to have a friend, you have to be a friend. You have to have that motivation to call somebody, reach out to them, go to groups. It can be scary at first to initiate a conversation with somebody else, but don't give up. Yeah, those are, that's a really great point about the friendship being a two-way street. I think uh, that's definitely one of the key things, and often it can be hard to kind of take that first step, but I think for people who are lonely, that's that's an important piece. Um, unfortunately, we're out of time. I wish we could chat more. Um, Natasha, thank you so much for sharing with us today. It's really been a pleasure. If a listener wants to connect with a therapist or ask more questions, how can people reach you and your team? So people can find us on the internet at family dash therapy.ca that's the, that's the name of our company um, if they want to look my name up and, and find me that's almost the easier way to find me is Natasha mm-hmm. N-A-T-A-X-J-A and of course the last name Cheney C-I-N-I I'll pop up very quickly on the internet reach out and talk talk with us if you have questions if you want to speak to a therapist about your loneliness you know it, it life is too short to be lonely it Ab- really is painful absolutely I totally agree thank you again for being here Thank you so much, Lydia. You're very welcome. Tune in next Saturday to learn more about the seven types of rest you need, and only one of them is related to sleep. Non dimenticate di seguirci di nuovo anche la prossima settimana su Italian Connection. Sono Lydia Di Francesco. Vi auguro un buon weekend e vi saluto calorosamente. Ciao!